Hiyo kijana yuko umumu. Alipoonyesha shule yeye akaenda. Akajua wasichana wanalala wapi, wana wa vijana wanalala wapi. Ndiyo kuhakikisha wanakuja wanafunga mlanga ya wa vijana, <coughs> watoto wa vijana walijaribu sana kupigana. Lakini nguvu ikawashinda yani walikuwa wamewakisha mattress na moto. Kwa wasichana walikuta mlango iko wazi ndio kuuaua na kukatakata. So ilikuwa ngumu wamechukua wengine wachache. Lakini chenye nataka kuambia kila mtu akue macho. RDC amesema government ya Uganda na Kongo inatengeneza barabara kutoka kasi ndi hadi wapi? Beni. Ili nyinyi mfanye nini? Biashara. Tunaelewana? Kama kuna mtu ambao hamuelewi, ameonekana huyo mtu ashikwe. Na naomba sana tafuteni wa vijana gani ambao walielekeza ADF kuja hapa. Walitoka kule Kasindi Port, walikuja hapo polepole siku wakalala siku mbili ndio wakakuja kuchoma choma watu. Walitaka kuchoma magari. Wakakuta jeshi yetu iko, wakaona magari ya jeshi hapo wakagopa. Sasa ndio kurudi kwa nini? Kwa shule. So kila mtu kuwa alert kama naona mtu ambaye hapana elewa kamata. Sio kwamba tunaenda kumfunga. Kamata tu sema LCE mtu hapana eleweka. Ni kibaya sana mtu seme makosa yametokea kwa wa, watoto wetu kufa shock grief and disbelief gripped southwestern uganda hours after friday night is horrific attack on umpondwe who be the secondary school kasese district by suspected rebels of the islamic right democratic forces teller group by place time last evening the death toll at the school located in Kalambi sub county 2 kilometers from the Uganda Diyara Congo border at Impondwe stood at 41 37 students 20 girls and 17 boys were hacked and burnt to death inside their dormitories while a school guard and three other people from the surrounding villages were also brutally killed Miraculously three male students made it out alive crawling out of the burning dormitory an unknown number were abducted while six critically injured others were evacuated to Bwela hospital by the army where two later succumbed to their gruesome injuries Friday night is broad lighting shattered the army is calm which settled over parts of southwestern Uganda two years ago after the army launched joint counterinsurgency operations against ADF rebels alongside Congolese forces amid this the pungent smell of death and devastation left behind stunned onlookers wondered how the attackers infiltrated into Mpondwe high with the soldiers conducting operations along the border and with a significant security presence in and around border areas those operations had forced the adf to scatter deeper into the forest of congo's north kivu province their command and control networks reportedly broken and no longer able to strike inside uganda but on friday 62 students in who be the hard boarding section had just retired to bed after evening preps when the attackers struck at about 10:40 p.m. according to major general dick orum commander of the updf mountain division whose units cover the Mpondwe sector the attackers were led to the school by local collaborators having spent two days in the area carrying out surveillance one of them came to scop the school and he was brought by the local youth he established where the boys were sleeping and where the girls were sleeping and he went back Major General Orum told the gathered crowd of grief stricken and ga- dust on Lucas on Saturday morning. May their souls rest in peace and thank you so much for watching.